I'm joined by Leroy, Leroy Chow in Houston. He's a former NASA astronaut and commander on the International Space Station. He is also CEO of One Orbit. Leroy, always great to have you on. So, you know, as we heard, 16 more navigation satellites to go up this year, all done by 2020. Um, explain for us, if you can, what it will mean to have all that hardware in orbit. Well, this will give China its own independent capability of what in the U.S. we have called the GPS system, the global positioning system. And so uh, we've seen several different constellations. Of course, Europe has their own called Galileo. Russia has their own called the GLONASS system. And then China will have their own called the Beidou. So uh, what you're seeing is uh, a maturing, if you will, of navigation capability and of you know not having to rely on someone else's satellites. So that being said, the Beidou program has been in development for a very long time. The goal is to glow, go global, as you mentioned. And you mentioned all of the different uh, GPS, the Russian system, the uh, Galileo system. How significant is it for China to join this group, not necessarily on the physical level, but just to be part of this large, this crowd? Well, I think it shows, you know, that China is becoming more and more independent. And so instead of depending on another country's satellite systems for navigation, uh, China will have its own. And so it's very much just like uh, even though uh, the United States and Europe are very close uh, in our relationships, uh, Europe felt it important to have their own system. And so they created the Galileo system. And so it takes a certain level of sophistication to be able to make a constellation of these kinds of satellites that can very precisely time signals uh, to give the necessary accuracy for air and other navigation. China is also hoping to make a moon landing later this year. What are you watching for? What should we expect with that feat? Well, this is a very exciting mission, and China, by the end of this year, will at least launch a halo satellite, or launch a satellite into a halo orbit around the moon, I should say. That will act as a relay, because China is planning to send a spacecraft to land on the far side of the moon. So that has never been done before. And when China does that, they're going to have to have that relay satellite in place in order to be able to communicate with it back and forth. And so first, they'll launch the relay satellite. It will enter what's called a halo orbit, basically kind of a, uh, not a traditional orbit, but kind of a halo orbit, just going in a circle in, a, in, a, in an area of the, of the space around the moon. And so you can always see it from the Earth. That will allow it to relay signals between the spacecraft and the mission control center. So this will be very exciting. It'll be interesting to see what difference there is on the other side of the moon. And Leroy, you know, I ask you this every single time. It seems that uh, every day there's something new and exciting, as you mentioned, in space. Just last week uh, was at SpaceX, and now we're seeing this with China. What are you uh, most excited about at the moment? What have you kept your eye on? Well, I definitely am looking at some of these missions that are going on, including the Chinese one to the far side of the moon. I think it will be very interesting uh, to see what the results come back, the photographs, as well as the, the measurements on what uh, what might the, the differences be in the soil, the rock composition, things like that. Um, you know, of course, we're watching a lot of other probes that are going on right now. Uh, we saw very recently the last dive of the Cassini spacecraft and bringing us back some information about uh, uh, building blocks of life in our own cosmic backyard. Similarly, we've got the uh, New Horizons mission is continuing to send back data recently, very recently just sent back the, a picture of, uh, you know, from the farthest away from the Earth that, uh, that has been uh, received so far. So there are a lot of interesting things going on in space. And of course, many nations are planning to send rovers, more rovers, to Mars. And so uh, this will be an exciting few years coming up. All right. Always great to hear your insight, Leroy Chow. Thanks for joining us.